exciting wedding. Uh, I asked Nick about give you a little bit of the history about what has led to this day. And, uh, uh, he was on a month-long business trip in the uh, UAW where and, uh, on their first date they went to Pearl Wonder, the Grand Lost, where we spent five days in person with one another. And then as COVID kept us apart for the next 18, every day her and I spoke on video chat shared holidays, celebrated milestones before being reunited. I knew I wanted to be married. Uh, Nick tells me that they have some words that they have chosen that they would like to say to each other. Because I got to this moment probably since the third date, it was, it was sure in my mind immediately, immediately that this is going on.
happiness in any marriage is not something that just magically happens. It doesn't work that way. A good marriage must be painless. I'm going to ask you to join hands, please, for the purpose of repeating your marriage vows to each other. And Nick, if you would not please repeat these words. I, Nick, take you, Liz, to be my wife. Secure in the knowledge that you will be my constant friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. I give to you my sacred promise to stay by your side as your faithful husband in sickness and in health and through good times and in bad. I promise to love you without reservation and to grow with you in mind and spirit and to cherish you for all of our days together. Nick, would you now that you have said those words? Liz, I would ask if you would also now repeat these words. I, Liz, take you, Nick, to be my husband. Secure in the knowledge that you will be my constant friend, my faithful partner in life, and my one true love. I give to you my sacred promise to stay by your side as your faithful in sickness and in health, and through good times and in bad to love you without reservation and to grow with you in mind and spirit and to cherish you for all my days together. I think we're going to present this ring to you and ask if you would now place this ring, which is the symbol of your commitment in marriage on Liz's ring finger, into her when you repeat these words in token and pledge my constant faith and abiding love with this ring to my duty. Now, Liz, would you take the ring which you're holding, and if you would now place that ring, which is the symbol of your commitment in marriage on the next ring finger, and to him also say the same words in token and pledge of my constant faith and abiding love. With this ring, I do thee well. So for as much then that Nick and Liz have now consented together in wedlock, and that they've also now pledged themselves each to the other before me and all of you present here this day, I do now, by the authority which is granted unto me by our governor and the commonwealth, I can hereby pronounce that you are now husband and wife. Woo! Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. You are beautiful. You're a lucky man. And I'm sure she's a lucky lady, too.